out. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Every, uh, everything we do at Knoxville Catholic, we like to start off one way first, and that is always with a prayer. But first, I wanted to, uh, I don't know if y'all noticed when you came in, we just got a quote put above the gym doors that spreads the whole way across uh, the length of the gymnasium, and it's from uh, St. John Paul II, and it is, it is so fitting and as I walked in this morning, I thought, you know, I'm going to just going to mention that. When you walk out, if you didn't notice it when you walk in, uh, when you walk out, take a second to look at it because it is, uh, it's everything that we're about here at Knoxville Catholic. I mean, we're academic driven, but uh, we sure do love our sports. So let me read it to you first before we, uh, before we go in prayer. It says, it is right to give thanks to God for the gift of sport in which the human person exercises his body, intellect, and will, recognizing these abilities as so many gifts of his creator. And I think that is such a good way to start this, uh, this morning. Um, I pulled an athlete's prayer off the internet. Everybody pulls stuff off the internet these days. Um, I think it's so fitting for what we're... Uh, what we're here for today to recognize and celebrate these athletes. So this is an athlete's prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, let me play well, but fairly. Help me to learn something that matters once the game is over. Let competition make me strong, but never hostile. Always let me help my opponent up. Never catch me rejoicing in the adversity of others. If I know victory, allow me to be happy. If I am denied, keep me from envy. Remind me that sports are just games. If through athletics I set an example, let it be a good one. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you don't love sports, and, and in my mind it's hard for me to understand anybody loving sports more than myself, but... If anyone was at a basketball game last night here, that is what sports are all about. And I didn't even have this rehearsed, but I, I just have to say something. There's a couple guys up here that are part of that. And last night I saw a couple people saying, you know what, we're just not going to lose. We're, just, we're not going to let it happen. Um, that is what high school sports are all about. You know, both teams are going crazy. The fans are going crazy. They're chanting. It, it was a full gym. It was exciting. It was, that's what sports are all about. Then at the end of the game, they shake hands. I think we take for granted how uh, amazing of a gesture that is when two schools who have a great rivalry will battle and battle and battle and never give up. And, and, you know, there's highs and there's lows, there's peaks and there's valleys, and, and no one ever gives up. But as soon as that last buzzer sounded, both, you know, go and shake hands and hug and have that respect. And that's what sports are all about. We're here this morning to celebrate these nine athletes. They've all shared it. I've witnessed, I've witnessed them all sharing the battles on the fields and courts, and I've seen the great... Uh, sportsmanship afterwards and we've had some great battles they could probably tell you a lot of them but with that being said I just I had to say that I forget that one but on behalf of coach Bailey uh, and myself and the administration of Knoxville Catholic I would like to say good morning and thank you for being here this is an awesome awesome day and this is a great turnout this is probably the most we've ever had in the gym on a, on a morning like this I would like to especially say Welcome to the media. We know uh, a lot of you media are up late at night covering stories, and we're glad that you're here. Uh, we love to brag on our student athletes, um, and we know that it's not easy to get here so early, but we, uh, we, we want to say thank you for being here. Parents, family members, friends, coaches, teachers, this is our second signing day of 2014-15 school year. Um, thank you for being here. I'd like to explain the format for you all. Uh, we're not going to be here for hours this morning. We know everybody has stuff to do, um, but we will, I will introduce uh, our young men and women here, uh, tell you where they're going, what sport they're going to play, and then we, I'll, I'll 
say a few words. Every, each of them have prepared probably a five to ten minute little speech. That's a joke, by the way. Uh, <laughs> then, then, actually, I will do the speaking. I'll do all the speaking for them. And then I, then I just want to uh, step aside and let you take pictures about five minutes. I know a lot of you are already taking pictures. Uh, we'll do a group, a group picture, five-minute group picture session. Then I'll ask all of them but one to get up, and we'll go one at a time and actually have them sign the papers if they have them. Um, so we'll take everything else off, and then we'll bring mom and dad and, and grandma and grandpa and friends and coaches and hitting coaches and and shooting coaches and all that stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that as we go. Um, so bear with me on that. But uh, allow me to introduce our stars here. Um, and I want you guys to stand up just for a second when, uh, when I call your name. Let's start off with Elise Klug. She is uh, playing next year lacrosse at Tennessee Wesleyan University. Morgan Briggs playing soccer at Wake Forest University. Ashley Hickman, soccer at the University of Cincinnati. Zach Janzik, University of Tennessee, football. Jordan Anderson, Brown University, football. Logan Lacey, East Tennessee State University, football. Ali McLaughlin, University of Minnesota at Morris, basketball. Delaney Lowry, Maryville College, basketball. And Mike Fitzgerald, Maryville College, baseball. Let's give him a round of applause. I would like to open by saying on behalf of, of these nine to everyone in attendance today, a great big thank you. Everyone in this room has had a, a small part, a large part, a medium part, but a part of why they're sitting up here today. Parents, families, and friends, thank you for pushing them a little harder than maybe they thought they needed to be pushed. Thank you for all the times driving them to and from practices and games at all times. I know early Saturday mornings, Sunday mornings, no, not Sunday mornings, Sunday afternoons. Thank you for all the times you had to wash their uniform the night before a game because they forgot to tell you it's been in their bag for a couple days. I know that happens. Um, all the times watching them in all kinds of weather, supporting them no matter what. All the hours volunteering um, to work in the concession stands, to work in the, on the field, to do anything that needed to be done. All the times when after a game, you offered them the exact advice and picked them up when they needed to be picked up, and their heads down and you lifted them up. Or even going a step further, maybe you didn't tell them anything because they didn't want to hear it. So you, you chose to remain silent, which was probably a good thing. All those times, uh, keep put them all together and you, and you have what you have sitting before you today. Coaches, teachers, and counselors, thank you for always encouraging them, for finding ways to motivate them to fulfill their potential, not only on the court and fields, but in the classroom, all while making them feel loved and cared for. I witness it every day in the hallways, how teachers and counselors and coaches love them up. It's amazing. It is unlike any high school that I've ever been around. Um, sometimes the teachers, you had to be the bad guy, and, and it had to happen. Even though you didn't want to, but you knew that it was what they needed at the time. And last but not least, I want to say to the athletes, thank you for sacrificing your fun time. A lot in the last several years, never giving up when times were tough. There were probably times where you said, I'm not playing as much as I want to play. I'm just not doing it. I just, maybe I don't need to do this. Um, you know, you have adversity and, and that makes you stronger, but you don't quit and they didn't quit, even if they thought they wanted to. All those hours when your friends are calling you, let's go to the lake. Let's go out, let's do this, let's do that. I can't, I gotta do, I gotta go to the field, I gotta go to the weight room. You know, that's something that you never get back, but 
it's so much greater to be up here and feel that accomplishment for all the hard work that you've put in. For focusing on your classwork, for making your family and coaches so proud by your actions on the play, you know, play fields and bringing that, uh, those uh, report cards. You don't actually get them sent home anymore. They're online, but, you know, all that stuff is, uh, is why we're here today. They never lost sight of what was important. I want to, uh, I wrote each of them a letter, I'll borrow Elise's, <clears throat> and I've read this almost at all of mine. It really kind of sums up my feeling and the feeling of Coach Bailey and our administration, I think. So I'd like to read it to you. And each of them, obviously, it changes a little bit because of their sport, but I will read uh, Elise's. During, dear Elise, during your time in high school, you have worked harder than most, spent more time on the fields and in the weight rooms than most, and show complete dedication to your sport, all while maintaining, maintaining your focus on your responsibility in the classroom. You have represented Knoxville Catholic well, and now you are being rewarded. You will soon join an elite group of student athletes who have earned the opportunity to continue their athletic careers at the co collegiate level. This is an amazing accomplishment, and your school is extremely proud of you. Congratulations and good luck with your next adventure. Tennessee Wesleyan is lucky to have you. <clears throat> All the hard work by these athletes and parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and friends is paying off today. This is a great day. It's the beginning of a new chapter in each of their lives. Please join me in giving them a very well-deserved round of applause. <clears throat> At this time, we will uh, we'll kind of just open up. If you can come forward, take pictures, whatever. We'll take about five minutes um, to take group pictures. Y'all just uh, sit up there, smile, and look pretty, and, uh, and then I'll come back, and we'll, we'll separate it. So take five minutes. Thank you. Hey man, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Hey bud, you made it. You got up after all. <laughs> you know what? That's what makes you so great, Ryan. You do it anyway, even though you don't want to. I got up and I was on my car, and I'm like. Oh. <laughs>